these two men, i would never seen such a more evenly matched up competitive match here in WWE. And not only could this match go all night long, but these two competitors could definitely go all night long. And when it's for the North American Championship, you know that they're going to pull out all the stops. Yes, if you look at the builds, tall, lean, muscular individuals, which means they seem to have tremendous cardiovascular conditioning, and I think they can wrestle all night. I hope it's not all night, but I believe they can wrestle all night, and this is going to be one hell of a match. They absolutely could. I'd love to see these guys go all night. Unfortunately, we're on a 15-minute time limit here. Yeah, so I got a date with Trish, so we can't go Sure all you night. do. Look, let me tell you one thing here, and I know I was oh, right up on his feet. I had to acknowledge that. Oh! Well, Don Tito's in jail. He'll get out next week. Look, I've been in the ring with Jorge Sante. I know Mac Daddy Flex has been in the ring with both of these gentlemen. Nobody knows these two guys better than us. One thing, he is dangerous with his feet. He has ground-based skills, and he can high fly, which means he has the total package. And let's not count out the Firebird George Santi, who has all those attributes and more, or at least a way to counter them. Out of the backdrop, Suplex does not get three. The top superstars here in pro wrestling, Santi is a name that you will be seeing for many, many years to come. And an awesome chop to the chest of Anthony Starr. And another one. My God, Anthony Starr is chocolate skin, but you can see the red on his chest. I just, there are so many moves in this match. I don't know, by the time I get ready to talk about one of them, they already did six more. Oh! These palm strikes. I tell you what, this is, this is the hardest hitting match I have seen in the world of Umpadu. Oh, vicious form and another chop by Sante. These guys are going toe to toe, tooth to tooth. Oh! Drives him into the corner. Santi has surprising strength for his frame. Do you see those punches? Those are not just regular punches. I look at the way he has Anthony Starr's head bent, wrenching on the neck as he lays in those furious punches into the side of Anthony Starr's head. He was aiming for the temple, open hand or not. That'll knock you clean out. Wait, here comes Starr. Counter to the spine buster! And there's a counter that I told you Santi could pull out of nowhere. Can you tell you what? I thought he had it, but it took so much energy out of Santi to do that move. Both men are down. And Santi, oh! I can't believe what these guys, oh! And there ain't gonna be much left after that one. To this match, I can't believe. Coming. He's got it set. Tiger bomb. Wait, looking for a counter. Counters out of it. Whoa, jumping leg lariat. Could it be all? That's gotta be it. I think I think Star got him. Ring the bell, baby. Ring the bell. Oh. And I had the bell ringer in my hand, ready to ring it. I thought that was it myself. Bleepless Jones and the U.N. box office are still here. We don't know what they're here for, but they are, oh, they seem to be going to do something. They're trying to get somebody's attention. And what is this? What is this? Oh, and HBO taking out Anthony Starr. What in the world just happened? Well, you know, Starr slipped off the rope. HBO Peon tried to help him, and he slipped off the rope. What you gotta do here, man? Bomb. One, two, he got him! Unbelievable. I'm highly disappointed, Anthony Starr. And Mac Daddy Flex, what did we just see? HBO key out of Sleepless Jones attacking Anthony Starr, pulling him off the rope and costing him his maybe only chance at the North American title. I want to say that. Anthony Starr tried to climb the top rope. 
He slipped off. HBO Keon tried to help him, but Anthony would not have any of our help. So, you know, hey, that's what happened. I have been corrected, but I don't think Jorge Sante knows exactly what just happened. But I, you know what? I will say this. That was a tremendous match. Both men went back and forth. You didn't know who was going to win, and Jorge Sante was able to come out on top. Oh, and HBO key on a sleepless Jones attacking Anthony Starr. And Jorge coming back out to help him. And Jorge attacking HBO key on a sleepless Jones. And what is this? After, after Anthony Starr and Jorge Sante just tore each other to pieces, they're actually watching each other's back. Hi, this is Johnny Ross telling you to watch the hottest show on the internet, WUW TV. Sweet Bobby G, welcome to this G spot, and I am here with the North American champion Astro Barigua. Astro, you got to be happy. It almost came down to you losing the North American title, but the ref saw what happened, what Stephen Person did. What are your thoughts on the outcome of the match? I'm excited, man. I got defending my title against Stephen Person. I backed up what I said I would do, which is keep my title, and I just was great. I'm glad the referee could come in and clear the whole mistake up. I'm just happy to be the North American champion and be able to work out with the title. Well, it was definitely a hard-hitting match, to say the least. Now that you've taken care of Steven Person, what are your thoughts on the new number one contender, Firebird Jorge Sante, a man that could beat anybody at any time? I'm excited to face Sante. He's just like myself, a young up-and-comer, and he's great. I've seen his matches, and I'm excited to face him. I'm looking forward to the challenge. I mean, I've beaten everyone they put in front of me already, so I'm just looking forward to beat the next guy. Well, it's definitely going to be a great match. The heavy hitting of Astro Bariqua versus the high flying of Firebird Jorge Sante. Astro, thank you very much. Thank you. This was the G Spot. See you next time.